How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to some more Besiege. So once again, it's Friday. That means we're checking out some of the best Besiege creations that I could find for this week of September. To start it off with, we got a kite. Now, this is actually a kite flyer. Um, what intrigues me most about this, actually, is the turning mechanism of it. You can see it's, it's just on a little hinge with springs on the actual wheels. And it works remarkably well. Now, let's see if we can actually fly this kite. Um... If it's anything like my childhood, I won't be very good at it, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, you're supposed to be able to fly this kite around. I wonder if we can attach one of these bastards over here onto it and make him fly. That'd be pretty damn fun. Okay, come on, guys. Yeah, just come on over here. There you go. Just, yep, jump down. Yep, suicide. Actually, yeah, they're all just gonna die. Um, alright, one of you land on it, please. Okay, safe to assume they're not going to be landing on this, so can I pick one up, maybe? I don't really think so. Oh wait, I forgot we have the new god mode now, so I can just drag this guy. Come on. Oh shit, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I, w I wanted you alive. This is harder than it seems to use, actually. Let's just drag this guy. There we go. That's all I wanted. Was that so hard? Okay, I'm. it's probably not gonna work. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh god, this is just grim. I just turned a childhood toy into everyone's nightmare. I'm sorry. Come on, man, I just want to see you fly. You can do it. Uh, well, I wonder what happens if I... There we go. Let's try that. Let's bring it in. And, yeah, clearly it's too heavy to be flying. <laughs> I wonder if I can make this a little better, because, don't get me wrong, it does kind of fly, but, I mean, obviously, it kind of just crashes more than anything. Let's actually just try this and see what happens. There we go. That's kind of better. Now, if only I could get it... Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> if only I could get it to just kind of stabilize. I don't really know what I could do, though, to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna try a balloon. I know this is kind of cheating, but, uh, oh, it popped the balloon anyways. I mean, it's w definitely working better. It's a little bit more chaotic, as you can see. Uh, but that alone, even just adding that thing, oh god, I actually just broke it. Uh, made it go quite drastically better. Okay, let's try this. I've, I've added two to both the top and the bottom. Oh my god, it just- if you- if you watch my damn car, it's being pulled by the weight of this thing. So yeah, clearly, I'm not very good at flying kites. Uh, so I should just probably go on to the next thing now. <laughs> so next up, we have a starship. Now- oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck did I just do? Okay, I don't know what happened there, but uh, all I did was press right and it decided to explode on me. But this time it seems to be working, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, we have a starship here. It is- really well done. We can go backwards, forwards. Now, those aren't the actual engines. These are just the thrusters. Um, you can also lean it if you want. And if we go that way, we can go this way. Uh, we can also lean it upwards. So, we'll do something like... Well, I don't want to go too... Di oh, God. I'm, I'm doing a flip. Stop. Okay, let's, let's go back. Uh, let's do something like that. Now, let's actually turn on the engines and see how cool this thing looks. Oh, my God. I love it. Uh, this thing is freaking awesome. Oh god, I just hit a guy. I'm so sorry. Okay, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna try and run into this statue. Um, let's make sure it's evened up here. I just want to see if I can break it just by thrust power alone. I don't know if I'm actually even gonna hit it. Oh yeah, we are definitely... Tr let's, let's try and keep it straight here. Uh, we're going for the legs, I guess. Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh, there we go. I just wanted to see a statue explode in zero gravity, and that was definitely worth it. Okay, seriously, these tanks are just getting more and more crazy. We got a freaking snake tank here. Seriously, it's a snake. I mean, it actually, you can even bend the tracks, and it doesn't even break it, uh, which is amazing, considering it's all, it's made of all metal. What's going on, peasants? Just here to, uh, annihilate your houses, just because I'm curious to see how strong this thing is. Not very strong. Um, explosions do definitely break it apart. Okay, I like going to this map with tanks because this is a good thing to climb to see how good tanks are. I'm going to assume because this track is so big, it's going to climb relatively well, but it is very heavy as well. And I think, yes, that's the issue we're having right now. Um, it's so heavy, the head doesn't even really want to go up. I can almost make it, but I think these guys are mostly screwing me up right now. Um, and as you can see, my tank <laughs> is slowly breaking apart into, well, I don't even know what... Oh god. Oh, well there it goes. I think it's officially broken. Um, it's still kind of trying to move. The back end seems to be working still, but the front end is totally gone. And there goes the back end as well. 
So next up, we have a drivable ball. This has almost a gyroscopic like turning mechanism in it and it's really easy to drive. Essentially, this white ball on the front is the front of your craft so you can kind of keep track of where you are. Um, the problem with, uh, I've, I've driven other ball-like creations, and it was really hard understanding where the front of my craft was. This one, not so much. Just keep that ball in front, press upwards, and it's going to go that direction. You can press left or right, or backwards, of course. Let's see if we can actually start going backwards. Um, yeah, it's just, for, for, it's a really interesting design, and something that I haven't really seen too much of. So, yeah, props to the designer. This thing's amazing. So for this episode, I was, I've was i been trying to find unique designs that we haven't seen before. This one really intrigued me. Um, I have seen it before. I don't think I put it in a video, though. So what's happening here is this is supposed to be a TV, and essentially we're watching a TV program. So we press up here. That's going to move our cog system over here. Now what's going to happen, I wonder? Any day now. I, I, I can see something. Something has moved into frame that's intriguing me. Maybe it actually broke. I don't know. Yeah, so essentially what's supposed to happen is this is supposed to ignite one of these bombs, but it kind of just pushed them out of the way, so that was an epic fail if I've ever seen one. Okay, clearly we need a take two for this one. Um, yeah, didn't expect that to happen, the whole thing just totally not work. There we go, that's what you want to see, and look at that. Imagine that on your TV screen, things coming right through, hitting your fucking TV screen and everything. Now that's 3D, I'll tell you that much. Michael Bay, eat your heart out. So this next creation is Polybridge in Besieged. Uh, this is absolutely awesome. If you don't know what Polybridge is, it is a bridge constructor that I actually did on my channel a little while ago. Uh, and a fan actually made this for me and Matt Shea to try out in Besiege. So this is essentially Polybridge in Besiege. So we got the boat over here, the little car over here. Our goal is to get to this little flag over here. Now, what we have to do is, of course, create a bridge that will avoid this boat um, and get us all the way across. So obviously, being besieged, I can't really make a simple road up. It would just be too bumpy for this little car. So I'm going to have to make some sort of drawbridge, I think. Um, this is going to be really fun to try. So here's my plan. I'm going to make this part a drawbridge. I'm going to pull it up. Hopefully that stops the car in its tracks. I'll let the boat by, drop it down again, and attach it to the road. And it should successfully beat it. I don't know. We're going to try it out, though. And uh, yeah, we'll see if it works. Okay, so all I have right now is two pulleys attached to my little makeshift drawbridge. Now, I'm going to try this out. This is my first time trying it. Oh, God. Oh, it's going already. No. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm breaking everything. Okay, so I got to make it somehow quicker. The important part is it works. Now, I can just drop it down. Maybe I'll have some way to stop the car, but then I can drop it down afterwards and attach it back. <laughs> Holy shit. Back to the road. This is going to be a little r rickety, but it should work. Okay, so I slowed it down just to kind of analyze this. The ropes, as you can see, break sometimes. Um, also, it doesn't get pulled up quickly enough to just kind of stop this car. I don't want it to climb it. I just want it to stop um, and wait for this boat. So maybe I should put up like a wall here or something. Um, possibly I could do that and then get rid of the wall somehow. <laughs> okay, I doubt this is going to work because it's so damn stupid. But... My plan is, uh, as you can see, I put up a kind of a makeshift wall here, um, which is going to stop this car from moving forward, of course. Then I can detach these and kind of fly it away, and hopefully, assuming everything works, it will make the car go flawlessly and stop early on. Oh, shit. Okay, I think it's too heavy now. Let's try it again. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, you can see it's fucking breaking them now. God damn it. Okay, so I'm going to try and add two more to the sides as well. I don't know if these ropes block things from moving. I'm just being careful here. Uh, this should hopefully... Oh, fuck. It broke two of them? Really? And, of course, now it's going to go sideways. Well, let's just see here. I just want to see what's working and what's not. Because, clearly, I'm scrunching my car in there when I move this up. Um, the drawbridge does work. This thing gets by. Now, if I press V and O, hopefully... This thing... Oh, it's not even going to get out of the way. Oh, come on, you're pushing me! So yeah, uh, safe to assume this thing's not getting, getting pushed out of the way quick enough. Okay, I know this is probably cheating, but I don't care, damn it. So I attached an extra extension to the back here, which is going to hold the damn car in place. Because I've been trying everything to stop this car, it's just not working. So we're going to try this, though. Um, this should hopefully... Yeah, this is working way better. So now I just kind of wait... 
There we go. It's gonna go through. And we're not gonna hit anything, right? What the fuck? It's hitting the metal beams? These things I didn't even attach. This was just given to me at the start. What, what am I supposed to do in that situation? Can I... Let's just try again and see what happens. Let's let's bring it up even higher here. I, I don't care how high we need to go. As long as these beams be av avoided. There we go. I don't know what happened before, but at least this time... Oh god, it's gonna break it. Oh, oh, there you go. Alright, so technically it's out of the way. We can bring this back down. Or we can't, because... What? I don't even know why. I think this metal beam is in the way now. God damn these metal beams. So I don't really know why these are here. Um, again, it was attached when I was given this design. I'm going to assume it's pointless, and I'm going to get rid of it. Because, god damn it, it's screwing me up. Okay, here we go. This should officially be good. So, ship should get through flawlessly. There we go. It's going to actually open up here. Is this thing ever going to open up? There we go. Uh, go through ship. I'm going to start dropping my bridge again. There we go. This is what I wanted to see. Uh, let's just take our time, make sure it's all good. Again, we're gonna have to do a little bit of a jump, so we're gonna want to make it a bit of an incline. Holy shit! Okay, um, and let's let go of the car, and... Oh shit, this thing should have steer- Okay, this never happens in Besiege, this is bullshit. Okay, let's try that again. Again, I can't really control how the car goes, so I don't really know what I could do. I guess I could put up sidewalls. Uh, that's gonna add a lot of weight, though. Come on, just make it. D don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay, clearly we need to make some bumper rails for this thing, because it's too retarded to drive straight. There we go, that should be good. Let's do some over here as well. And then, hopefully, it should work. Okay, take 574. There we go, it didn't add an, a much weight, which is really good. This is a little bit more bouncy now, um, which is, of course, what I'm worried about. Once it hits this, I mean, there's really... There's no reinforcement over there, as you can see. I gotta hope this car is light, light, light enough to just go. Okay, goodbye little ship. Let's drop this down again. Again, keep it a little higher. That way we don't get screwed over with this little jump. Uh, we're gonna lift it up there. Uh, so it's really bouncy, as you can see, but let's let the car go. Oh my god, okay, good. This is going good. This is what I wanted to see. Ooh. Oh god, what are you doing? What? Stay on the fucking bridge! Oh, for fuck's sakes, Jesus Christ. This is just like Polybridge, just me screwing up over and over. Okay, I added some reinforcement. Didn't really change much else. I don't think I really need much else. I think we... Honestly, what I need most is a bit of luck. Uh, when it comes to Besiege, random things just randomly happen. Uh, this one, I'm feeling good about it. I feel like this is the one. Okay, drop the bridge. Take our time. Let's keep zooming in on this. There we go, that should be good. Drop the car. Stop going sideways! Oh, it's gonna hit it again! Oh, for fuck's sakes, are you kidding me? Even with bumper rails, this thing can't do it. Jesus Christ, you know what? Here, hold on, let me give you a little boost, you freaking bastard. There you go, freaking even out, please. Seriously, how do you screw up this much? How do you screw up a bridge this badly? Okay, come on, please. Please, if only this thing had steering. It's going to the- oh, actually, it's looking good this time. Please, 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 don't fuck up. <gasps> no! Okay, hold on. Let's let's just kind of play with it. There we go. I dropped the bridge a bit. And please tell me you can make it up there. Oh, come on. That's not even me. That's just, that's just a constraint with the bridge. Why is it on fire? Okay, you know what? Fuck you, bridge. Fuck you and your bullshit. I did that. I don't care what anyone says. God, why, why you shoot? Okay, it's on fire. I was wondering why I was shooting its engines, considering I didn't click anything. And then I realized, oh, everything's on fucking fire. That's right. Okay, this is just way too damn cool. I've never seen anything like this yet. Um, and I don't know why no one's really thought of it. If you've ever seen the baseball pitcher um, machines, this is essentially what it is, but it's turned into, of course, a cannon. So uh, let's go forward here. Uh, we got a ball already loaded. Oh, actually, it's holy shit! That was fucking awesome! Okay, let's actually go back here. Um, so it does have a re reloading mechanism. You see there's a bunch of shots up here. So you just press H, which drops one down. And then you grab it, and then you shoot it, and of course, the actual tires help, um, propel it and make it go so much quicker. Okay, load it up once again. There we go. We are all loaded. And shoot! There we go! Oh, fuck. We're just missing them. Okay, three's a charm. Let's hope this works. Try it out. Oh, yes! There we go. We, we, we got a couple of them. Let's see if we can get all of them. 
<laughs> oh, this is great. I'm just totally randomly shooting them and hoping for the best. There we go. There's another one. Oh, my God. Come on. Get them all. Get them all, please. Oh, almost. Uh, I don't know how many shots I have left. I've shot quite a few. But uh, that was a cool view. Let's see. Is there any left? Yes, we, we still have a few left, actually. So there we go. <laughs> oh, this is this is such a cool machine. Oh my god, did I get them all? I think we got one left, right? Yeah, we got one guy here. I love this machine for how random it is. This is a really brilliant machine. Like, look, it's just... Oh, shit. Oh, god. I, it broke itself. Okay. Uh, well, there goes the last one. And now we are breakdancing, of course. Okay, this is one of the coolest tanks that I've ever seen. Um, this is actually a hover tank, and it doesn't work like most other hover vehicles. You can see it's actually off the ground a little bit. Um, it's essentially just perfectly weighted to the point where it is kind of floating yet kind of sliding as well. Um, and it works remarkably well. It's also got, as you can see, a turning turret. We can also um, just control this manually. It goes up and down. Um, we're actually looking at it backwards, by the way. This is the front of it. So let's go... Uh, see if we can meet these peasants and uh, give them a little gift. Okay, hello peasants. I'm gonna try and control this now. So it only has two guns on it, and I'm actually worried about this fire. But let's try. Uh, here we go. There. Oh God damn it! These things—they don't go far enough. I swear. Uh, there's another one for you. But yeah, just a really freaking cool tank. Uh, I'm loving the movement of it. It doesn't feel like most of the other hover vehicles, which essentially just slide on the ground. This one actually feels like it's hovering. You know, you're floating. You're kind of leaning a bit. Uh, just a great design all around. So yeah, guys, that was just another of the best Besiege creations that I could find for this week of September. Uh, time and time again, like, I, what are we at, like, 48 videos now? I come into this thinking, oh, there's gonna be nothing left, nothing new and innovative. But every time I do one of these, there's always some unique people out there making some amazing creations. And I thank you guys for that. All the, all the designers out there, you guys rock. Uh, I hope you guys are still enjoying this series. Thanks for all of your support. And I will see you in the next one. Hey, this is a quick message thanking you for watching my video. I hope it gave you literally minutes of enjoyment. I have playlists and videos like this one at the top right of your screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or support me on Patreon, the links are in the description of this video. Thanks once again for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.